Oh nah gang, this ain't this ain't normal, bro. <laughs> oh nah gang, you not <laughs> crazy like that for real. This is not normal. <laughs> Do you really want to see how crazy I can get? <laughs> Hell yeah, gang. If you was really crazy, you would break his arms right now. <laughs> Sasuke, please stop. <laughs> Sasuke, please stop. <laughs> the original series. Where we at? 34 minutes is insane. Man, what is good with y'all? Shit boy OG from the Bow Clan. Been a minute. But we're back with another video. Uh Barack Obizi came and blessed us once again with another episode of Naruto Unhinged, episode 10, Rock Lee. The gold medal instigator. You heard? You heard? Where we left off, man. I, la I think last thing we left off on was Orochimaru in the forest. And I think he got he got he got a hold of Sasuke. That's the last thing that we left off on. You heard? So this is a long video, bro. Thirty four minutes is crazy. So I'm gonna stop wasting your time and let's get straight to it. No series. But with all that said, please enjoy the video. Go. Episode 10, Rock Lee, the gold medal instigator. Let's go. My instigation senses are tingling. Mm. So an opportunity is about to present itself. But before I go check it out, I saw Neji head off this way before we separated. So if I find him, <laughs> I was about enough, to say, I could try and yell. Neji? I was about to say, bro. I'm glad you caught on to that. I was like, Neji? Who is Neji? Yell out something to possibly make him mad before I head to the instigation spot that I'm sensing. You three can stop hiding. I know you're inside the bush. He saved me the trouble of finding him. Nice. I think it was a bad idea to split that edible Choji hat on him. We're in no condition to fight. No shit, Shikamaru. I can barely open my eyes. They're she so high, high they don't even realize I can hear them. Okay, but hear me out. They what look if we're high. just imagining things? Damn. Like life. It's an illusion. So maybe right now we're just imagining someone there. Like, what if we're not even in a forest right now? You know, you're having a high thought right now. But if I were to actually think more about it, the idea of life being an illusion could definitely be a possibility. Yeah, I'm not about to listen to three people have this conversation while they're high out their minds. Yo, they having a full blown high conversation. Like, I think we all been there. Whoever smoked, like, this don't happen every time, but y'all all had like those deep ass conversations. Even if you're not high, you had a deep ass conversation like that. This is very understandable. They just yapping right now. They're not focused on the mission, bro. They just they just really deep in their fucking heads right now, bro. We're someone with enough skill to pull Shut off. Shut up. I'm done listening to you jits talk. Like one of you said, you're in no condition to fight, so I'll leave you alone for now. I suggest you three lock oh. in and tee up, because it's getting wicked in this forest, you heard? Oh, you heard? <laughs> <laughs> Neji is from New York. Um, This face is driving me nuts, bro. What is up with this face? He got draws on his head. Is something funny? Shikamaru, did you hear the way he said, you heard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard what he said. You heard? Yo. He sounded confused about what he was talking about. You heard? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. They are a prime example of why I don't smoke weed. Because I didn't say anything funny. Yet they're laughing their asses off. I can't tell whether this fake gangster wants to be from Florida or New York. You heard? It's New York. It's New York. Come on, just leave him alone, guys. You heard? <laughs> you heard? I better leave before I get mad. I'm not about to waste any more of my time on some druggies. It was unintentional, but their instigation tactics were impressive. The leader of L Block, Mark Phillips, would definitely give this a C rating Mark in instigation. Phillips. Things are going to change from now on. You both may not realize it, but I did a lot of self-reflecting after what happened earlier. Today's the day I finally start being useful. So please, wake up soon so we can get out of this forest. Protecting them must be very important to you. But if you really want to be useful, let us see the boy with the edge streak. Woo! Damn it. They're headbands. It's the same as that freak that touched Sasuke and Naruto. They must be his henchmen or something. Don't make this hard for yourself, little girl, because I listen to Chris Brown. 
so the idea of forcefully moving you out of our way is definitely an option. That's wild. I don't know who you think you're talking to, because it sure as hell isn't me. I'm a different person than I was about five hours ago. So you better head back to your freaky ass master, because you're not laying a single finger on either one of these two. Tell him. Those are some brave words coming out of your mouth. Yeah. Which doesn't even sound the slightest bit of threatening. But what I really have a problem with is you thinking you have the right to talk about Lord Orochimaru. Because he's not a freak. He's just experimental. <laughs> There's nothing experimental about that. Is that what you call it, bro? <laughs> Orochimaru is the freakiest nigga in the universe. He's the freakiest nigga in the Naruto universe. That's hands down. There ain't nobody more freakier than him. I can't think of another character in that universe that is more freakier than Orochimaru, bro. I, there, there's, there's not one. Maybe Guy Sensei. I, that's the, that's probably the only one that might be a little bit more freakier. That might be on par. Because Guy Sensei is a freak. I don't care what nobody say. The little poses he be doing. He be doing like this and shit. He a freak. I don't care what nobody say. Freaky ass nigga. Weirdo. He's a creep that needs to be locked up and put on death row. I'll give you one more chance to watch your mouth about Lord Orochimaru. Because things really don't have to get violent when there's a simple solution. So apologize for what you said, then let us see the boy. And if she does not apologize, Woo! then what will happen? The same thing that will happen to you if you don't mind your business. You must not know, but I live for this ignorant shit. Let's so go. those words you just said are music to my ears. Crash out. Thank you. But honestly, I'm surprised someone like you would show up to help me. Ooh. Do not make me laugh, because I am not here to help you. So how about you sit there and watch me get to work on these fools? You should be used to doing that anyways. Damn. Considering that you are the useless one on your team. Damn. I should have expected this from him. Plus, he's probably only here to make everyone mad. But still, what he said had truth to it. I was about to say, is he lying, though? Hey, buddy, he's not lying. I don't know who you think you are, but it's probably best you leave before you get hurt. And who will be the one hurting me? Mm. Are you dumb or something? I'm the one that just said it. So obviously it would be me. I am not dumb. I just didn't expect a femboy like you to say something so manly. I guess you guys actually do have some type of masculinity. Damn. Don't ever compare me to one of those beta sissy males ever again, because I'm a high value and alpha male. So if you value your life, what? then I suggest you watch your next few words. Just as I expected. After overhearing that Chris Brown statement he made earlier, I knew he had to be one of those red pill losers. I find it hilarious that you think of yourself as an alpha male, considering the person you work for. Because word on the street is that he's pretty gay. Yeah. And if you willingly work under him, then what would that make you? Yeah. Because it surely wouldn't make you an alpha male. Yeah. You little beta white knight piece of shit. Zaku, relax. Damn. It's obvious he's just trying to make you mad. Yo. Looks like. Hey, Rockley got that that instigating shit on lock. Bro, he's he's in peak form right now. Peak form right now. His ex execution. And his instigating is like top tier right now. Look how you're looking at this nigga. He getting old dude out of his character so bad, bro. He's making him so uncomfortable, bro. This is what I love to see right here. Peak Rock Lee right here, bro. Side character number two finally remembered he had more voice lines. Damn. Good job. I am proud of you. The fuck Cook. did you just call me? Cook. Oh my God. How is he even able to think of all this on the spot? I'd hate to admit it. But his instigating really is a skill. That is my bad. I guess I got you wrong. I'll move you up to side character number one. I can at least admit you're more interesting than your bitch ass mans over there. Damn. I know exactly what he's trying to do, yet I'm still getting mad. Whoever this brat is, he's good. I know you didn't just move me down to a second rate side character. I'm more memorable than anyone on my team. Nah. So if we're talking side characters, then I should be number one. Zaku, stop responding to him. You're just giving him the reaction he wants. It doesn't matter what he's trying to do. An alpha male like me is a leader, so I could never be a second-rate side character. Plus, I personally think you fit that role better than I do. Zaku, there's no way you're this delusional. I'm literally the team leader, so if we were actually side characters, then by default you would be side character number two. Sheesh. Perfect. Now I can start instigating from the sidelines. Damn, if you really think about it, he just said you were destined to be a second-rate side character. The only thing I was destined to be was a leader, 
which is what makes me an alpha male. Plus, I have better character qualities than him, so this shouldn't even be a debate. Yo, why are you oh, going yeah. off on your man's? He though? basically said you have a boring personality and that his is better. Why is why is he why is he comparing himself to his homie and putting himself over his homie like that? And see, you know what I'm saying? Like he's he's belittling his homie just to put himself up. Like and you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing right now? You you falling right into his trap. And Rock Lee has you in the palm of his hands right now. You're falling for it. You're falling for the bait, bro. If you really think about it, he is disrespecting the very thing that makes you who you are. His name is literally Zaku. That doesn't even sound like an important name. It doesn't. So basically, you are saying his name, the thing his parents gave to him at birth, isn't even worth remembering? Oh my God. I am not going to lie. I would not take that, especially from my mans. Well, at least I actually got mine from my parents. Unlike Dosu, who never even met his parents. Bro. Oh, no, nah, that's actually crazy. Dosu, did you just hear what he said? Zaku, you need to watch that little mouth of yours. Because I don't mind doing a side quest to handle some business with you. Me, personally, I think you two should run a 30 real quick. Because this back and forth is <laughs> not going to solve anything. Yo. That is just me, though. Yo. Sounds like a good idea to me. That Dosu, is crazy. Let's get it. Another perfectly executed crash out. I love my life. He's getting genuine joy from this. This guy is a problem. Wait a minute. What is wrong? Are you backing out of the 30 second fade with your mans? Yeah, Dosu. If you're scared, just say that. Zaku, just shut the hell up and listen. This whole situation is dumb. It stemmed from us wanting to be the top side character in our group. That itself is embarrassing. He's been instigating the whole thing. I knew what he was doing too. And I still fell for it. You're yeah. right. Us arguing over that is actually embarrassing. We're actually stupid. Stupid would be an understatement. What's really stupid is my fist when I shove it up your Ignore ass. him, Zaku. Whoa. He's trying to get us riled up again. We finally got our priorities back in check. So let's get him out the way and continue our original mission. Eno, who do you think is going to win the fight? I got my money on the L-Block guy. You heard? <laughs> I guess I got my money on the three other ninjas then. You heard? Oh my god, bro. You shouldn't have taken that second edible. You sound high as hell right now. You heard? Yo, they are child. <laughs> they are childish. But speaking of edibles, since we made a bet, whoever wins gets the last edible from Choji. You heard? Don't do it, you heard? bro. <laughs> Are you weak ass motherfuckers really about to jump me? Ah, uh, uh, don't he get scared now. He said that's you so hard. You this on yourself. Plus, we were gonna do this from the start if you didn't get out of our way. You have me mistaken. I am not scared. I was just making sure you were making a smart decision because it would be dumb not to jump someone as skillful as me. You know what? Zaku, sit this one out. Are you sure? Because we could just finish him off right now. Yeah, oh. it's fine. His little smile and attitude is pissing me off. I want him to fight me and realize that he's helpless against people like us, so he can regret all that instigating he did earlier. This must be one of those situations real nigga sensei was telling me about. This is perfect. All right, listen up, little nigga. This <laughs> is an important <laughs> lesson you need to he hear like before you enter these exams. There may be situations when your instigation may cause someone to want to hurt you very badly. That's how I feel when having to deal with both of their instigation attempts every single day. Neji, I know you so well that I can already tell your little Hyuga ass is back there hating. Instead of hating on something beautiful like instigation, maybe you should hate the niggas that killed your dad. Damn! That's what I thought. Why is Neji Stay getting all that? On hush mode and stop all that hating, little nigga. Why is he getting all he this, said bro? All that unprovoked. A prime example of their. What did Neji do to these people, bro? Damn, he's getting all the fire. He's getting everything. Unnecessary instigation attempts. But anyways, like I was saying, there may be situations where your instigation victims may want to hurt you very badly. 
But in this situation, they want to hurt you very badly while you are giving it your best. Mm -hmm. And even if you beat them, those type of people can sometimes be satisfied knowing you went all out. Mm -hmm. So if a situation like that presents itself during these exams, I want you to purposely lose. Sensei, I don't understand. Aren't we supposed to be participating in the crash out as well if that happens? All right, little buddy, listen up, because I have an explanation. Normally, yes, all members of L Block have to participate in a crash out scenario they themselves instigated. But we never want to leave our victims feeling satisfied. So if they want to fight us at our best and we beat them, there is a chance they will feel satisfied in the end, which we don't want to risk. So in those situations, it's best to underperform or not fight at all. I ain't gonna lie, Leave bro. those niggas unsatisfied. I'm lost. <laughs> Fine. It'll be stuck on their mind and bother them. It is like Mark Phillips is blessing me right now with an opportunity to test this new style of instigation. I will not fail him or myself. Brace yourself because I'm going all out from the start. No mercy. This is perfect. He's most likely going to use a jutsu. So I'll just allow myself to get hit by it. How long is he just gonna stand there? Sus vibration jutsu. Wait, this is that same gay ass jutsu. This is that same jutsu he used before the first exam started. What? <laughs> that sissy was all talk. Sus vibration jutsu isn't your average type of jutsu. This jutsu forces the target to hear something most people would consider sus or zesty, if you will. But not only that, this sound is amped up about 20 times the normal amount. Damn. You've seen me use this before. So, I'm disappointed you didn't dodge or counter it. Especially after all that talking you were doing just a moment ago. But then again... I had a feeling you were all talk anyways. Damn, bro. Looks like you owe me that edible. You heard? They gotta stop. Okay, they, they overdoing it now. <laughs> 15, bro. 15 times. I don't think you taking a third edible is a good idea. You heard? Especially since you still sound high as hell. But at the same time, a deal is a deal. So I'll go get it from Choji for you. You heard? <laughs> What happened? I thought you said it would be smart if we jumped you. Now you're over there helpless after one attack. It's honestly disappointing. You have me mistaken once again. I let your little boyfriend hit me. Huh? The fuck you mean you let me hit you? Oh, what guys yes, say was saying? it's working. There's one more thing I need you to know before we end our lesson, little nigga. You need to make this little person nigga. feel like Bro, they wasted their that, time so. as oh. well. Because an angry nigga that feels like they wasted their time always makes for a top tier crash out. <laughs> and I put that on it. Look at, look at his face. <laughs> look at how he looking at guy right now. <laughs> that nigga ugly. Feels like they wasted their time always makes for a top tier crash out. And I put that on L block. I mean, I was going to let this happen from the start. Plus, I could not be bothered to go all out on some side characters anyway. I also wanted to test my durability before the next part of the exams, because I have a bigger target in mind. But that doesn't make any sense, though. There's no way you actually think that little of us to the point you're willing to take a jutsu head-on just to test your durability. Why not? Once again, you must not know, but I would die behind this L-block shit. So getting hit by a gay little jutsu like that is nothing. Yeah. So if you really planned on doing this from the start and never had any intention of fighting, then that would mean, oh my god. Come on, say it. Damn it. Being the person someone tests their durability on is really some side character shit. Yes, but those are not the words I'm looking for. That would mean this whole thing was pointless. If you were never going to fight, we could have just ignored you. Yet we played along with your games and got tricked like some side characters. Now it just feels like we wasted our time doing all this. We wasted our time doing all this. We wasted our time doing all this. Sensei, I did it. 
Ever since you showed up, you caused problems for us, all by just talking and using your words. I will admit, that alone is impressive, oh. but I think it's best we put a permanent end to your little activities. I think that's a good idea too, Dosu. And I already know you probably agree, Kin. Shikamaru, I don't think she has said a single word this uh, whole time. Bro, I'm about to say the yeah. same thing. She hasn't said nothing, bro. What's up with Ken? Since we showed up, she hasn't said anything. She might be mute. You heard? What do you think, Eno? You heard? Oh, God, you can barely speak. That third edible really has you messed up right now. <laughs> you heard? I'm going to be completely honest with you two. Now that my high wore off, that joke really isn't as funny as we thought it was. I was starting to think the same thing, Shikamaru. You, you heard? heard? I knew oh it. my god, we understand each other so well. I can't believe I'm just now realizing how much I he love you weird. guys. Choji, trust me. The feeling is 100% mutual. You heard? Hmm. I guess that's your way of saying you agree, Eno. You heard? I already told you <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time on some <laughs> side characters. I got the results I wanted out of this situation. So just leave me alone and continue your original mission. Wow. If you have no intention of fighting, then we have no problem killing you where you are right now because you already wasted enough of our time today. But the only thing stopping me from doing that, though, is me not being satisfied with how hey. this ended. So get the fuck up and let Whoa. us finish you off the right way. Whoa. He's crashing out. Sensei, I wish you could see this because this is beautiful. I do need to conserve my energy for my next crash out scenario though. So how about I redirect this a little bit? I know you want to hurt me really bad, but I already made up my mind. I will not be fighting some side characters today, but there is someone on your level that you can fight. She is so useless that she might as well he be a background her under the character. Bus. She also happens to be the girl behind me. Oh my what? gosh. She was the one stopping you from carrying out your original mission. You seem like you had something to prove with this mission before I showed up. So I don't think you want to disappoint your boss by focusing on me, right? You're lucky. So bro pulled up just to exercise his instigating. He pulled up to train his instigating skills. This got to be this got to be a joke. He can he pulled up just to instigate and now he about to dip. And hey, he meant what he said. He said earlier, I'm not here to save you. <laughs> I'm not here to save you at all. This is all for me right now. This this is this is what I like to do. This is what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? On L block. You heard? You said what you said just now. Because I actually do have something to prove with this mission. So Lord Orochimaru's orders will come first. But after that's done, I'm coming right back to you to settle this properly. There's no way that actually worked for him. Also, just as a reminder. She did call your boss weird and a freak. She also basically said he, he needs to again. go to prison and die. He doing that it right is now. really messed up if you ask me. You L-block bitch. Whose side are you even on? I do not choose sides. I just go where the instigation leads me. I hate how he, how he get on the ground? Damn it. Imagine letting the most irrelevant person here catch you lacking. You really are useless. Zaku, oh she God. still has yet to apologize for what she said about Lord Orochimaru. How about you go force one out of her? Sure thing, Dosu. I woke up feeling like Chris Breezy today anyways. Uh -oh. Or how about you wake up to some bitches and shut your corny ass up? Tell them. Excuse me? But more importantly, since your skank ass wants to grab all up on my hair, let me show you how to speed run a pixie cut, bitch. Yeah. That was a powerful moment right there. A pivotal moment in Naruto. I promised you guys things would change. And I think now's the time I finally do something useful for once. So just sit tight. I'll handle things here. Throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the That is not even a pixie cut. Rock Lee, bro, Rock Lee can't help himself. He, he, just has to, he just has to get on people's nerves, bro. He a crash out, bro. Oh, she's turning up. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Zaku, hey. look up. Relax, I'm Dosu. To, I'm about to go rewatch this episode. I'm going crazy like this. 
I remember her hair getting cut, but that was it. What the hell is happening? She shouldn't have enough chakra to use this many substitution jutsus. Looking back on it, letting you take oh. that third edible was a dumb idea. Wait, now isn't Eno helping her? have to babysit you until your high wears off, because now you're starting to green out. I forgot. Also, Choji, who did you buy these edibles from? Asuma Sensei is probably going to want to know when we tell him how strong they were. You know he's a fiend. But that's the thing, Shikamaru. He's the one that gave them to me. She can't keep substituting forever. She's going to have to come out before she runs out of chakra. So I'll just hold out until that happens. Do you think she actually has enough chakra to use this many substitutions back to back? I don't think that Jit is using substitution jutsu anymore. Because after the first few substitutions she did, I noticed with my Byakugan that her chakra changed slightly. I'm not gonna lie. 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 I would hate on this nigga as well. Just, just, just how he talking. I don't like how he talking right now. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Like, he sounds so annoying. He sounds like that one kid you just wanna like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You heard? So it could possibly be some type of genjutsu, but I can't be for sure. Also, when did you even get here, 1010? I didn't even see you during the first exam. I honestly think there's something wrong with me, because I don't even know how I end up in most places. I shouldn't even be surprised. She always says that after showing up out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, great. If the first 15 substitutions weren't annoying enough, now there's multiple versions of her. Kin, take care of the three on the ground. This doesn't make sense. She keeps doing the same thing over and over, then substituting. She should be out of chakra by now. It's like this isn't even real. Wait. Zaku, listen up. I think this is a genjutsu. She's probably trying to exhaust us before she actually makes a move. So Ooh. hurry up and finish the last one off so we can find her. That actually makes sense. That's probably the only way a woman like her can have any chance of beating an alpha male like me. Bro, get over yourself. Zaku, to your left. There's another one. She thinks I'm stupid. The one above me blocked, so it's most likely another substitution that's acting as a distraction. The one on the ground must actually be the real one since she came out later. Probably trying to catch me with my guard down while I was focused on the other one. But guess what? Those weak feminine tactics don't work on an alpha male like me. That was a substitution? Wait! That's why the other one blocked! Damn it, she knew it would be 50-50, so she blocked just in case he chose to focus on her. Get bitched, ho. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nah. If I was a red pill loser like you, I would just end my life if I got beat by a girl like that. Rock I thought you said she was useless. I did not lie when I said that, so I am also just as shocked as you. Damn. But at the same time, because your mans just took an L... I think I am going to demote you guys to background characters. Oh, if I even hear the word background come out of your mouth again, I will kill you where you lay right now. <laughs> Once again, that is music to my ears. I said, I think <laughs> I'm going to- one of you background characters just called my glorious queen useless? Whoa, I'm going to have to go back, bro. I don't remember this at all. Rock, but what's getting me is Rock Lee is, is face down on the ground. He said, oh, nah, oh, nah. <laughs> oh, bro, that nigga is hilarious. Sasuke pulling up. He said, my glorious queen. And that is music to my ears. I said, I think Which I'm one of you background characters just called my glorious queen useless. Wow. Wow. His presence feels similar to Lord Orochimaru's. It feels experimental. Sasuke, I'm happy that you're up, but please don't call me that again. 
Remember what I said. I'm not meat riding or glazing you anymore, so don't start doing it to me either. Plus, you saying that isn't really a good look for you in front of the hose. Eno, you heard? There's no way they're still on that. Hmm. <laughs> you heard what that girl down there said? <laughs> don't do it. You good? You heard what I just said. 10 10, just <laughs> shut up. It's okay. I understand why you're not saying anything. You're probably still too high to speak normally. But I know in your head, you're probably really happy right now. You heard? Relax. I was just testing you and semi joking. That's what friends do, right? Sure, I guess. But I don't need you to test me like I'm a lab rat or something. I told you things would change and I meant it. So just worry about yourself. Damn. She actually seems different. All right, I heard you. Somehow, everyone wants to start saying those two fucking words back to back. I swear you can't make this up. By the way, I like the new hairstyle. Word. Cool. <laughs> Oh, nah, that wow. is crazy, gang. <laughs> she did not even acknowledge your compliment. She hit you with one simple word. Right. Literally. Yo, he got it. First chill. of all, he has I to chill. I know what you're trying to do. Word. Cool. <laughs> oh, nah, that is crazy, gang. She did not even acknowledge your compliment. She hit you with Yo. one simple word. Literally. First of all, I know what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work like it did last time. And secondly, why are you even here? Take a wild guess as to why I am here. The answer should be obvious, you stupid oo chigger. Whoa! Jesus. Even I can admit oh. that was really unnecessary. You know what? It's my fault for not expecting that you to try something. That is wild, bro. But you're right. It should be obvious to know why you're here. So if you want to see a crash out, then let me know who called her useless. Another crash out scenario practically throwing itself at me. This is the perfect time to lie Ooh, and say? get the wrong Ooh. person hurt to maximize the ignorance. <laughs> that is simple. It was the red pill loser over there with spiky hair. The one who got destroyed by your teammate before you woke up. Nigga, you know I didn't say a damn thing close to that, you fucking lunch. Oh, nah. This is the craziest thing I've what seen today. Is? You got bitched so bad by the girl no. you called useless that your voice changed. That is absolutely insane work. I'm not the one sucking off the ground right now. I didn't even call the useless bitch useless, you fuck nugget. Sasuke, the amount of Cap exiting his mouth is crazy. He is copping a plea. He is basically saying you are not worth telling the truth to. That does sound crazy, wow. doesn't He's it? He's on the ground. Yeah, it does. Face I think you down. should show him what happens when people decide to lie to you. Turn especially up. Especially about insulting your friends. You know what, L Block? You just earned yourself another crash out from me. Zaku, <laughs> move! What are you doing? <laughs> Sasuke, I'm a screaming that you touched me. Don't you? Oh! Oh, nah, gang. You not crazy like that for real. Lee, do you really want to see how bro. crazy I can get? <laughs> Hell yeah, gang! If you was really crazy, you would break his arms right now. <laughs> Sasuke, please stop. <laughs> Picture this, you're sitting at home alone watching YouTube videos, wondering why you can't find the motivation to do the things you need or want to do or change in the ways you'd yeah. like. Even thinking about your mental health and all that it entails My mental health is shot. too difficult, not worth it. I've been there, even as a therapist. Have you really? Often as a therapist. It doesn't matter what your profession is, how much money you make. Okay, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You cooking with this Rock Lee shit. Rock Lee, you cooking with this Rock Lee shit. This, this is, this ain't normal. Oh, nah, gang. This ain't, this ain't normal, bro. <laughs> oh, nah, gang. You're not crazy like that for real. This is not Lee, normal. Do you really want to see how crazy I can get? <laughs> Hell yeah, gang. If you was really crazy, you would break his arms right now. <laughs> Sasuke, please stop. <laughs> Sasuke, please stop. <laughs> Oh my the sad God. thing about this is that he actually was telling the truth, at least until a moment ago. It'd be like that, though. He had it coming anyways. I honestly feel like we should have stopped Lee from instigating something like this. No. It's good we stayed where we were at. Because while you're busy disappearing and showing up randomly, I learned something about Lee and Guy Sensei. 
their instigation alone is dangerous, dangerous. because of how good they are at it. Bro. But once they start laughing and chuckling to themselves, like Lee was doing just now, then that's a sign they have tunnel vision. Everything they say from that moment on will be an attempt to instigate. Yeah. It's almost as if their instigation planning <laughs> becomes borderline he, chaotic. He can't help instant. it. He can't I want you help to remember it. that those two are not on anyone's side. They are literally the definition of chaotic neutral. The only people they respect are themselves, wow. L Block, and somehow the third Hokage, which still, I don't understand how that works. This is off topic, but why do you space your words out like that when you speak? If you stop disappearing and showing up randomly all the time, you would know that I don't. It only seems like I do because you're only you. around, so I'm just mad. You heard? No disrespect, but hearing you say those last two words makes me want to get eaten alive starting from the inside. It just doesn't sound right coming out of your mouth. It just doesn't stop. <laughs> you should probably pick your teammate though. up and leave. Because I don't mind putting my foot on your back and stretching you out too. Sasuke, that shit was gay as hell. What? Damn it, he's right. What the hell am I saying? You're losing it, buddy. And with him saying those words, our mission is now complete. Lord Orochimaru will be thrilled to hear the edge oh. mark is working perfectly. Since it's you still haven't left yet, how about you drop us that scroll on your way out? Here. Losing it won't do much when we can easily just find another one anyways. I could honestly care less. Now get the hell out of my face. Hehe. <laughs> Your man's got his arms broken, and now you just got your pockets ran. What a sad day to be you. <laughs> yeah. I this feel like is... it's too convenient that you woke Yo. up at the exact moment everything starts getting resolved, Naruto. Seems like you might have been playing possum for a little bit. On God, I was. Some crazy stuff happened to me a few hours ago. So I think I deserve those few extra minutes. You heard, my nigga? You heard, uh, my yeah. nigga? I definitely heard you. I try my best to stay calm and collected. But half these jits keep disrespecting me, and the other half right. okay, are unintentionally adding to it. Is he from Florida or it. is he from uh, New York? Because because Florida niggas say jit, New York niggas says you heard. So where where are you from, bro? Are you confused? Now see that's what I'm saying. Like he he's the type of nigga to get like like really, um, bullied, bro. He he deserves this shit. I ain't gonna lie, he deserves it because because you you you're not being true to yourself, bro. Stick to one. I'm almost at my breaking point. Before you click off oh the video, God, you just hear that nigga out. Especially if you're a reaction channel, stick around for a little bit. Okay. I just want to tell all of you guys, thank you for 100K. That's him? Yo. Stick around for a little bit. I just want to tell. Yo. What's up, gang? Now I know you. Now I know you. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Bro is uh you're really good. You're really, really good at this shit. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta you gotta like I don't know, you gotta work with somebody to make like something official, bro. Cause like you're too good of a writer not to. I ain't gonna lie. Cause I'm saying this series, bro, it put me back in a Naruto. And again, I, I actually like this story better. I might I might be overreacting. I might be, you know what I'm saying? I might be boosting your head a little bit, but I like this story better, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like Naruto's always gonna be there. It's always gonna be a solid story. But this this story right here, like where are we going with this? I feel like you're gonna take it to a to a place that I never seen before. Like Rock Lee just then, that's peak Rock Lee right there. That's Rock Lee from the L block. Like, I'm not getting that nowhere else. That was that was peak Rock Lee right there, bro. That was crazy. But yeah, let me get let me. So you said something about hold on, let's get back to the yap session. Hold on, hold on. Just hear that nigga out. All right. Especially if you're a reaction channel, stick around for a little bit. I just want to tell all of you guys, thank you for 100k. I already said this before on episode nine, <laughs> before the video got taken down. But you know what I mean. <laughs> but I just feel like it means more if I use my actual voice. I feel like it's more genuine. And plus, you niggas don't even know what I sound like. I'm getting the, the white allegations, even though I know most niggas be trolling. But 
I just want to say thank you, and especially to all the reactions. Nah, that's editing. Y'all have yeah. been a big part of my growth on YouTube. Like, I see every single reaction video. Like, if your video got one view, nigga, that shit probably me. I ain't gonna lie. That shit is probably me, bruh. But I just can't stress enough how much I'm thankful for everyone just showing love. And I just really want to you voice over my own voice instead of, like, using AI all the time. But... I had to cut the last part out because the car alarm went off. But also, I'm recording this on my phone. I know the audio is trash. Chill on me, bro. I'm in the process of getting a mic. I'm 20 oh years old. God. I know my voice kind of squeaky. So if I see that shit in the comments, I'll be sending you a hateful message. I'm going to pay on your downfall to the <laughs> Yo. I'll put a curse on your kids. Yeah. Right? I'm dead ass. I'm like, yeah. Relax. Nah, but I just need to talk to you all about like two things because... Some shit's gonna happen, and I know you niggas gonna start teasing, so I'd rather let y'all know about it now. Uh, then after I talk to y'all about that, then I gotta press y'all, because some of y'all be OD, and be like, uh, mad at me, and I'm not even gonna hold you. Uh, but before I even get into that, I gotta talk to a specific YouTuber. My nigga TSO Sage. <laughs> funny dude, funny videos. I be in your streams, you know, I be watching her shit, she be seeing me in the chat. You can't be cool, though, bruh. I'm gonna just say two things and leave it at that because I know my viewers are not going to understand what I'm talking about, about, but I know he's watching. So I'm gonna let him explain it. All I'm gonna say is the word slushy and the word slurpy. Oh I know which side you stand on, you're spreading too much propaganda. We cannot be cool. Nah, but to my viewers, there's like two things I need to talk to y'all about. Next Naruto vid, bruh. It's gonna be a little minute to that shit come out, but like, there's a reason why. So before y'all start going down to the comments, I'm sorry. Here and they get out. I'm pretty sure y'all all know what happens during the next part of the exams. And I had this planned out for months that this part of the exams was going to be one big video. Mm. So it's like, I know y'all would rather it be cut up in a part so it comes out sooner. But nigga, this shit was planned out for months. I'm not changing my mind. So <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know now it's probably going to be like two months minimum maybe that's cool months. that's cool with I me i ain't tripping and i know some of y'all like <laughs> i need i need a break <laughs> three months nigga that's how long you take the post anyways nigga shut up nobody asked you bro but i'm just letting y'all know now because i know how y'all get y'all come to my instagram and flood the comments talking about when's the next episode which does get annoying which is what i need to press all about i'm not worried about this press i'm trolling but i need this why i'm using my voice because i feel like it stresses to the point even more Nigga, I am a person, bro. You feel me? I have my own life going on. You hear it? I can't work on these videos like 24-7. You feel me? I do stuff in my personal life. I like to spend time with my friends and family. And I have Shut the fuck up and start making some YouTube videos, huh? When a vid doesn't drop in like a week, two weeks, three weeks, even a month, y'all got to relax, bro. The vid will drop when it drops. You feel me? I know that's not all of you, but a lot of you niggas need to be patient, bro. But that's all I'm going to say about it. Thank y'all. Again, thank y'all for 100k. Thank y'all for the constant support. I love you niggas, man. That nigga funny, bro. You're a student going back to school, man. man. You need I said, I say, if that's the case, we should conclude this at season one. That's season one right there, man. Naruto Unhinged episode 10. I told y'all we reacting to every single one. I know it's been a minute. I haven't been too consistent. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna get back into it, bro. We're gonna get back in motion. Like I mean, I had a, I had a whole plan for myself, and I gotta see that through. So again, I appreciate everybody that been uh, locking in, tuning in. I appreciate uh, Brock Obizi for giving us content to react to. I ain't gonna lie, you've been blessing the channel, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you've been blessing my channel. So I appreciate you for that, and uh, I appreciate for all y'all subscribing and everything like that. I feel like I'm taking his whole spiel, but I appreciate all y'all. But that's my reaction. It's your boy OG from Woke Land, and I'm out.